Hi everyone, Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Trade of the Week video. This week ending February 12th of 2023, the stock was AMD. This happened first thing Monday on the 6th. This was based on a 15 minute DTS breakdown blade that happened on a mini gap entry on a 15 minute DTS sell set of be the tail. Also had a great little one minute concept to confirm the entry you'll see in just a minute. This is a advanced management and rewards risk 1.7 to one. Free stuff for the DTS members this week. If you're not a DTS member, go over to the homepage, figure out how you become a free member, get invites to great educational events. There's nothing going on this week, but the topic is already picked for the following Wednesday's educational event. It's called Trading the Market. Be there for that one. Daily chart of AMD. Now, the daily chart really wasn't a big consideration here. The daily chart for me on a day trade just has to not conflict. It was kind of borderline, but it was simply the fact we formed an equal high that prior day, and this day we're going to gap down to right there, and the rally back hit some resistance, and that was all I needed. There are several reasons this trade is featured. Number one, it's one of my favorite strategies. Number two, it was an all-day hold for one target. And number three, it features something I talk about, which is called ordinary moves. All I was looking to do was to find that hitting resistance and take it on the pullback. It's a small daily bar, not a big deal. Makes great profit and you're doing something, finding something, it just is a normal everyday type of move you can find on any type of stock. 60 minute chart, we're going to be gapping down right there. And that tail coming back into that prior day is where we're gonna be shorting. Not much else to learn on the 60 minute chart. Five minute chart shows you some good detail. But of course, opening right there at the bottom part of the green of that first five minute bar, we're running up and I'm shorting right in there. Actually not a great entry for me. I really would have preferred to short much higher up in here over 86 somewhere. Entry turned out to be under 85.48, stop over 86.50. All one target end of the day. I have a saying out there and it goes something like this, that any management you do costs you money if you end up hitting your target. And I'm not saying that you don't manage ever, but I'm saying most traders do manage to their detriment. This is one that closed near the low of the day, and I just let it go for the day. One target is what it turned out to be, and it was a nice trade. One minute chart will show you a little better detail on the entry. Of course, we're opening right there. We run back up and we fill that gap right in here, come back down, come back in and really fill the gap, and that's where you know you're good, especially that second attempt. And I didn't get it up in here. This is where I should have gotten it. I ended up getting it on this lower high. So you do have greater confirmation here because you're getting that first lower high in the one-minute chart. Entry under 85.48, stop over 86.50, boom. Trade goes for the day. One target at the close, 83.68. If you like trades like this, I typically do three to four a day on average, and they're all done pretty much that opening hour to 90 minutes. The last month I've done more than usual after 10.30. Prior months, it's probably one or two a month is all that I ever do, and there's a reason for it. I'll announce I'm coming back because there's something special going on I want to see, usually a stock that had a special gap or something like that. I've done a few more this last month because a lot of the setups have formed a little later in the day. But typically, we're done that opening hour and usually three, maybe four trades on the average day. If you like that type of trading style, calm, relaxed, not hyper, not scalping, come join us in the DTS trading room. Head over to the DTS website, that's disciplinetradingstrategies.com, and see if you can figure out how you can join us in the trading room. We keep it well hidden. Until next time, this is Paul for DTS. Good trading, everybody.